come here because our Father in heaven provided everything for us that we need. Yes. He said that he would and he had. Thank he made yes. a way for you. He made food for you to yes. eat. Yes. And he brought you here to save his life. He's worthy of you. At this time, we are going to be honored with a collection from our mass choir.
Corrine Scott, Jenny L. Neesmith, Claudia Rice, Brothers Neiman, Matthew, Walter, Elmo, Laurie, Willie James, and Roosevelt Presley, by Cleveland Presley, and Sarah P. McCutcheon. We would like to thank Mr. Presley and Ms. McCutcheon for the donation to the building fund this morning. We ask that you please pay attention to your bulletin and find the health and welfare tip. Also inside your bulletin is the order of worship for the four nights of Holy Week service. The pastor is asking us to attend every night. Services will begin at 7 o'clock. He's asking us to attend every night. However, Hallelujah. he's looking for you to be in the place Hallelujah. on Wednesday when we are the host church and we'll be at Jeremiah. And Reverend Dixon from Elijah will be the pack, will be the speaker. And on Thursday night, he needs you at Elijah. Okay? Because he will be the pastor. And we will be providing service. On Wednesday, we have to provide the opening, which is the devotion. And Brother Sammy is asking us to please be there present and on time. Choir, present and on time. Wednesday and Thursday, but they want you there every night. I'm doing my best. I have an announcement, and I gotta work this phone to get it. This is not my phone. Okay, now, all older adults, you are asked to meet on Wednesday at 10 a.m. And you will have what is called a senior lunch and learn from 11 to 2. This will be sponsored by South Carolina Thrive, and they will be sharing information on senior resources and services available in South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the seniors, if you're in our older adult ministry, you will be attending. Lunch is going to be provided. However, they need you to RSVP for a lunch count. So if you will attend, on Wednesday at 10 a.m., we ask that you please RSVP to Ms. Dolores Presley, who's the chair of the Old Adult Ministry, or Ms. Pearl K. Presley. Okay, you didn't tell me that. April 3rd. April 3rd. Okay, April 3rd, seniors. So you have a few days, April 3rd. Greetings, members. All persons who have a key or keys to the church, please come to the library immediately after service. Your corporation is greatly appreciated. This is coming from the chair of the trustees. Also, members, if you would like to donate $25 to purchase a bin, please see LaQuandra or Don. Let's get ready, let's get ready, let's get ready, let's get ready. The donate certificate order sheets are here. So this fundraiser will continue until Sunday, April 28th. All monies will need to be turned in by that date. The certificates will be available on Sunday, May 5th. The cost for the certificates will be $10 each. If you would like a donut certificate or the sheet, please see Cynthia or LaShanda in the library. For those of you who are watching via Facebook, Add off YouTube, and you would like to take part in this fundraiser, please call the Quadra at 803-528-9543 or contact the church. We thank you in advance for your support. All members, if you would like to donate to the building fund in memory of your loved ones, you can do so on any Sunday during the year. The fifth Sunday in March is available for donations. Please contact Brianna Samuels or Dolores C. Presley. Building fund envelopes will be available each Sunday from now until, 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 until. Remember, it is the brown envelope with the white label, or today it might be the white envelope with the brown label. <laughs> the ushers will be happy to assist you. Also, Precious Jewels Women Ministry, in conjunction with the French of United Women in Faith, Precious Jewels Women's Ministry is under the direction of Carol McCutcheon Sumter, who is a former member of this church and is Sally McCutcheon's sister. She approached us, and this group of women 
in the several churches coming together, they would like to join in and help us in our endeavors with our building. Amen. 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 And so they are happy. We will be hosting a service on Saturday, April 13th, here at the church at 10. Even though it says women, men, you are invited to the house as well. Amen. Now, all proceeds raised at this coming together, at this service, will be donated to Friendship United Methodist Church. They want to join our building campaign amen. so that they'll be a part of the matching fund by the end of April. Say amen. 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 God is good. So we are asking, more information will be forthcoming, but we are asking everyone under the sound of my voice, please do not find it robbery to come out on Saturday, April 10th at 10 a.m. And if you want to come and you don't have a ride, let me know. I will put Butch and Mildred and Mary's taxi to work. <laughs> so if you don't have a ride and you want to come, Doodle Hill will be on it, bringing you out. Amen? Amen. Now, from Mount Zion United Methodist Church Music Department and Fine Arts Ministry, they're inviting us to the Easter Jubilation, which is a Easter cantata, which will be held today at 5 o'clock p.m. Reverend Keith Hunt is the pastor, and Kendrick R. Huggins is the director or minister of music. The annual conference, South Carolina annual conference, they are looking for uh, volunteers, and the conference will take place in Greenville at the Greenville Convention Center. If you would like to volunteer, and the dates are June 8th through the 13th, various times and dates, please see Ms. Pearl Presley so that you may sign up. And I tell you, it's a wonderful experience volunteering for conference. Also, it saddens me to announce the passing of my cousin, my first cousin, Melvin Silas Gaddis II, who is the son of Renita Gaddis and the late Melvin Gaddis, and he will be finalized on Tuesday at one o'clock. We're asking you, um, and that is, and Melvin is also the nephew of Mildred Cunningham. We're asking you to keep our family in your thoughts and your prayers. Amen. And at this time, if there are any visitors, and if it's your desire, you may stand, give us your name, church affiliation, and make any remarks. Seeing none, I'm able to praise the Lord, everybody! Praise the Lord, everybody! Let's have church.
Sunday at 10 a.m. for practice. Men, you in charge of service on Sunday. We ask for you to please be here at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. Amen. 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 Now we are ready for our scriptures. Amen. I will be reading both Old and New Testament from the King James Version. And as your program is outlined, I will be reading the Old Testament, Isaiah 50, verses 4 through 9, and from the New Testament, Mark, verse 14, Mark chapter 14, verse 1 through 15, and verse 47. And it reads as thus. Thus said the Lord, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement? whom I have put away, or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have ye sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother put away. Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem, or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stink them, because there is no water, and did it die for thirst. The Lord God has given me the tongue of learning that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wakeneth my ear to hear as to learn. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the smithers, and my sheets to them that pluck off the hairs. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justifieth me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The mouth shall eat them up. And now we're going to turn to our New Testament, which is going to be taken from Mark. Mark. Chapter 14, verses 1 through 15, and verse 47. Those of you who can stand, please stand. After two days was the feast of the Passover and of unleavened bread, and, of sh and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of people. Yeah. And being in Bethany, the house of Simon, the Leah leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment, of spick and art, very precious. And she break the box and poured it on his head. Yeah. And there were mm -hmm. some that with indignation with themselves, and said, Why was this waste on ointment made? Mm -hmm. For it might have been sold for more than 300 pences and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. And Jesus said, Let her alone. Yeah. Why trouble her? She has brought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always. And whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But me ye have not always. 
She's, she has done what she could. She has come out from us to anoint my body to the burying. Mm -hmm. Verily, I say unto you, whosoever, whosoever the gospel shall be preached throughout the world, this also that she has done shall be spoken um, for a memorial. Mm -hmm. And Judas Iscariot, <coughs> one of the twelve, went unto the chief priest to betray him unto them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. Mm -hmm. And he sought how he might conveniently betray them. And the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover, his disciples said unto him, Where wilt thou have we go and prepare that thou mayest eat the Passover? Mm -hmm. And he sent them <coughs> two of his disciples, and saith unto them, Go ye into the city, yes. and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him, mm -hmm. and wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good man of the house. The master saith, Where is the master says, Where is the guest house mm -hmm. where I shall eat the Passover mm -hmm. with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared. There make ready for us. Yeah. Now we'll read chapter verse 47, which reads, And one of them that stood by drew a sword mm -hmm. and smote a servant mm -hmm. of the high priest and cut off his ears. Yes. These are the words of God for the people of God. Praise God. God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise is what she does. And because God has been good to us, we ought to praise Him too, huh? Am I right about it? Who am I talking to in here this morning? To God be the glory for all the things He has done, He is doing, and we're praising Him in advance for what He's about to do. First and foremost, I want to thank my friendship family for allowing us to be away a weekend for the celebration of life for my sister in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you so much for, for being with us and TC this phone and rain. I don't know why. One of those, what do they call them? Market? Telemarketers? Wow, do they ever stop? <laughs> Wow, wow, that's, that's very annoying. So those of you who are viewing us live stream, it's not us, it just came upon the phone. We thank those who are viewing us via live stream, wherever you are, in the north, the south, east, west. We thank you so much. We just want to, to again say thank you for, for being there for First Lady and I. Also want to lift up Sister Gaddis, as you heard Dr. Caddy speak earlier, and they will be on their way to Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Please keep the family in your prayers. I got a call from the Coopers, Brother Harry, Brother Will, I can't remember who it is, but they, that's, uh, they're on their way to Connecticut uh, to, to bury their sister Ruth Atkins. And uh, this is the sister of Brother Cliff. Of course, you know he's at the VA Center in Florence. And, uh, Brother Harry Cooper. So we ask that you keep them in your prayers. Amen? Amen. 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 Oh, 
we thank you, Father. God, I thank you. Because without your grace, God. Oh, Father God, we just ask you right now this morning. Not to omit the concerns. But oh, Father God, I just received one.
sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting.
will your heart and soul on, say on. yes?
what is it that God requires more of you? Ask yourself, Lord, have I done what you have been pleased with? Have I shortchanged my family? Have I said something to somebody that I miss saying I should not have said? Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to get it right now. I don't want the master to say depart from me because I don't know you. Lord have mercy. Let me move on. It's all right. The word this morning is coming very briefly from one of Paul's epistles. Galatians, the second chapter, the 20th verse. Galatians 2, the 20th verse. This morning I shall be reading from the New King James Translation. If you are there, would you say amen? Amen. amen? This is where Paul is talking to the church at Galatia. We all know Paul and how he started his life persecuting Christians. But you know his life changed. My brothers and sisters, if we say that we love the Lord Jesus, and yes, our lives cannot be the same. If you say you love him. If, if you say you love him. Galatians 2. And 20 reads thusly. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. But Christ lives in where? In me. And the life which I now live in the flesh Somebody say, in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of who? Of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Lord have mercy. This is the word of God. For the people of God and we say, praise God. Let us pray, shall we? When peace, like a river, attended my way. When sorrow, like sea pillars roll. Whatever thy lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well. with my soul. Merciful, holy God, we come before you now to say thank you. Lord, sometimes we we fall short. Sometimes we allow the flesh to take over. Lord, I know that that's why you headed to the cross. To give us another right to the tree of life. Work on us, Lord. 
give us that chance. And if you do that for us, we're going to be so careful to give you all the honor, all of the glory, and all of the praise. It is in the precious and the matchless name we call you Jesus. We call you Abba Father. just a few moments I want to speak to you from the theme what does it mean to be crucified what does it mean to be crucified my brothers and sisters I would assume that all of us in here consider ourselves to be Christians I'm raising my hand. I don't see anybody else raising their hand. Now, if you didn't raise your hand, that means you something else. <laughs> or you just don't feel like raising your hand. But one of these old days, you may not be able to raise your hand. That old song says, if I could, I'll just. Yeah, so now I'm going to give you another chance. If you say you will just somebody ought to put their hands in the air. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to say, Lord, I'm so glad I'm not where I used to be. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, that's a long trip. He said, you know my record. 
Satan, whatever you call him, he don't want nothing. He's going to try his best to, to the word says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He said, but I can go. Take a step, not have to, but sometimes we do. Yes, God. We take a step back into that old life. Oh, yes. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why Paul is saying if you read Galatians and really try your best to understand what he's saying, he said, This 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 is what we call our bodies. Mm -hmm. There's certain things, certain parts of our bodies that must be crucified. Oh, yes, God. What are you saying? He said the first thing, our feet should be crucified. Jesus' feet was crucified. I want you to go with me now. I want you to, to, to just close your eyes and I want you to, to, just, to just think about and envision Jesus. You see, they they, they, they cross his feet upon that upright beam of the cross and, and they drove the, the long spike into his feet. That spike, guess what it did, my brothers and sisters? That spike tore through the flesh and the blood and the bones. Just imagine the age of me. Our feet should be crucified too. Lord have mercy. What do we mean by crucified feet? Well, we must be careful where our feet take us. Never let them lead us into a place that's going to dishonor Jesus. You know how Monday, Thursday. That's the night Jesus is going to wash his disciples' feet. Am I right? Yeah. And guess what, brothers and sisters? He wants our feet to be clean too. Yeah. Our feet should never, never walk into those slimy old bad places of this old earth. But we should all Back in the upper room, 
He showed those hands to his disciples. Now, if our hands are crucified, we will be careful what we handle with our hands. Now, if we use our 
our tongues for Jesus. Yes, Lord. We will never wag our tongues unnecessarily. Amen. Here's a prayer that I came up with while I was researching for this word. Here's a prayer that all of us ought to pray. Lord, help me to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy. And before I sit down, we should not be glad when we hear evil things about somebody else. Certainly we do not have to repeat them. Am I right about it? Keep on running your mouth. They might boomerang and do us more harm. Stop talking about somebody and all the instances and the issues they have. Before you know it, it'll be back right on you. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Am I right about it? What does it mean to be crucified? Jesus is on his way to the cross. He's going there for you and for me. All he wants you to do to love one another. He said, love one another as I have loved you. Lord have mercy, Jesus. On the one hand, it's a wonderful thing that we have salvation. But on the other hand, this man who did no wrong, he's going to the cross to give up his life so that me and you and you and you could have a What does it mean to be crucified? It means to give up all of that old stuff you had. All them worldly ways. How you had hatred in your heart. You don't want to show it, but I can see how you act. Oh, Jesus. This is a loving family. And even if you disagree with me, sooner or later, <laughs> you need to get it together. I don't know if you notice the kind of, of issues pertaining to our young people dying, getting shot and killed. Oh, yes, God. I can just imagine that at three o'clock this coming Friday yeah, yeah. where the earth yeah. is going to go dark. And the Bible says in the temple the curtain will split. Father! Father! In the eyes of a dying my God! My God! Why hast thou forsaken Do you want him to forsake you? Do you want to get your life together? I'm not, I'm just asking the question. Because you don't want the Matthew 25 passage of scripture to enter your spirit, depart from me because I don't know you. Do you want that? Or do you want to hear him say, well done? Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yes, you had some issues along the way, but well done. Yes, sometimes you just didn't think that you were supposed to, but guess what? Well done. Well done. What does it mean to be crucified? Let this body 
you believe to say amen. 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 If you are thinking about how the rest of your life is going to shape up, if it's kind of passe, I would urge you to bring it back into focus. Mm. Hallelujah. If you know that your eyes need to be crucified, if you know that your feet need to be crucified, if you know that your hands need to be crucified, kids, then you need to get it right today. Stand up for me, those who are able. And I want you to repeat that. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. The Lord has made. What, a day. what a wonderful day for praise and worship. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Jesus, for giving us another opportunity.
Because see, it's very profound. Go home and read and study. It's very profound of what Jesus is about to do. There's not one of us in here who could handle the pain and the agony that this brother went through. So all I'm asking you to do as a result of that, try to have more passion, compassion for other folk. Understand? Stop walking around here thinking you come on. Any others want to live this up? Betsy Fulmore. My sister Betsy. Betsy Fulmore. Jack. Jack. Yeah, I remember. Jasper Brown. Family. 
Who? Rosanna and Lee Smith, the best family. Lord, you hearing them? I know you hearing them, Lord. I hear you. Lord, I know. Ms. Magdalene McCutcheon. I just heard from our administrative assistant this morning, Mrs. Presley, that uh, she don't think she's doing very well. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. God got the final say so. Yeah. 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 Because we are fortunate enough to hover around his altar. Yes. Right here. Yes. See the cross? You see those letters there on his name? Yes. On that cross? Yes. It's in Greek. In his name is what it means. In his name. So whatever whatever you do, Lord, I'm doing it in your name. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm doing it where? In your name. Something else just came to my spirit. I want all of you today, this entire week, but today, we all know what, what, what we are facing, but I want you to understand this. God did not bring you this far and turn his back on you. No! No! You watch it in 60 days from now. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. What did Moses tell God? Lord, them people won't listen to me. Pharaoh mad with me. Them people, they gonna say nothing to me. What did God say? Move out the way now. Let me be God. Let us bow. Father, It is in the precious name yes, yes. of your son Jesus yes. that we come before you now yes. as humble as we know how. Yes. Lord, you've heard, you've heard the petitions, yes, yes. thanksgiving, prayers. Yes. And Lord, my belief system is so strong that I know you are already working it out. Yes. So Father God, if there is one among us yes. who's still struggling with their faith system, yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus, Lord, I don't know what you'll do, but I know you will fix it. Yes. Lord, we're in a time in our lives that we need to get closer and closer to you. Yes. So Father God, is there something that's hindering us if there's something that's preventing us from getting close to you, move it out of the way. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I'm never ever going to stop talking about love. So Lord, allow that word love to permeate our spirits. So much so, dear God, that when, when, when it's all said and done, you'll be looking at this church beside the road, friendship, to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up. I'll make you faithful over me and ruler. Lord God, I really want you to go with our sick and our shedding. Lord, because we're standing here today with a reasonable amount of health and strength, don't mean we're going to be like that tomorrow. So, Father God, I pray now that you just meet Satan at the path. Whenever he comes to the crossroad to try and attack us, Lord God, put all of your angels around to keep Satan from helping us to, to think that it's all lost. It's not loss. Father, if there's someone who came to church this morning not feeling too well, touch them with your finger of healing and your finger of love. 
If someone came to church this morning feeling a bit despondent that all hope is lost in the name of Jesus, touch them now with a finger of reassurance that you are God and beside you there is no other. Lord, we thank you. I would be remiss, dear God, if I didn't ask that you continue to be with the Stroud family in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Lord you, God, you know there was a celebration of life on our friend on yesterday. And the family, the mom and the dad, Lord God, their, their hearts are heavy. But you said in your word that you would never leave them, nor would you forsake them. We have bereaved in this community as well. So dear God, just cover them as only you can. And if you will do this, we're going to be so careful to give you honor, the glory, and all the praise. It is in the precious and the matchless name of Jesus. Let every heart say amen. 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 If you love him, give him a hand. Clap. Come on and greet somebody up here. Don't go back to your seat till you speak to somebody. Tell me you love them. I love you, brother. Yes, sir. I love you, brother. I love you, sweetheart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Show some love.
Miss Brandon, please let her parents know that we are praying for her here in Friendship. Let her let them know that. Brother Addison, he's already gone. Okay. There he is. Okay. Let them know and pray for them. Okay. Amen. Amen. How you feeling? Huh? You feeling all right? Saying we have a busy week this week, Holy Week tomorrow night at, at Kennedyville. Tuesday night we'll be at St. Paul Morrisville. Wednesday night we'll be at Jeremiah for us. Thursday night we'll end up Holy Week at Elijah, right down the road. Amen. 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 All hearts and minds are clear. Amen. Let us stand and have our course. Thank you to my little, my little just boy. She she started to feel like this. This is it right here. Y'all show us some love. Come on, let's show us some love. Thank you too. Please serve it. And then we'll spend the prayer as always. Sacrilites, please come. Thank you. 